check this out. So today's video is going to be about FIFA 19 new player tattoo concepts. Now I usually do player face concepts but today we're doing the tattoos and if you didn't know these concept series aim to showcase the talented modders in the community that do great work in FIFA and obviously FIFA 19 could use some of their concepts right now as well. And if you guys could quickly like and share the video I would appreciate it a lot. Let's get to 300 likes. The first player we have today is Icardi from Inter Milan and in FIFA 18 which is on the right which is the modded photo he has both sleeves full of tattoos which is very nice to see there's also ones on the fingers and I've put the real life photo there so you can compare it and I don't know how they do it but it looks really nice and they're very talented people and it must take a lot of time I'm not sure how they do it but it looks fantastic and of course if EA could throw this into their own game it would look fantastic it would add to the authenticity because when you use these players you know they have tattoos in real life but then when you play the game there they don't have them in the game so it's kind of a little thing but it does make a difference when you're actually playing the game so like I said before these mods are trying to reflect what Pez 18 has and as you can see I've thrown in the Pez 18 photo on the right and of course the Pez 18 one looks better implemented because They've done it in the studio, Konami have done the scans themselves and stuff. But the FIFA one is not too bad. You can't really notice the difference unless you really pay co uh, close attention to it. And I would take that one on FIFA 18 any day of the week. But I know there's issues with licensing and stuff like that that might not let us have that in FIFA. And this is the number one place for FIFA 19 concepts on YouTube. So if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button today and the notification bell and you won't be disappointed. The next player we are featuring today is Coutinho from Barcelona. Now there's a real life photo on the left, but even that is a bit outdated, but I couldn't find an updated real life photo that had all his hand tattoos. But anyway, the FIFA 18 one is on the right, and as you can see, the tattoos sort of line up with each other. You can see tattoos on the fingers and the wrist as well. Like I said before, the real life photo has less tattoos. That's because he was at Liverpool in that shot, but now he moved to Barcelona. He's making more money, can afford more tattoos. So he has more tattoos now. And also on the right hand, if you look, you can see like a tattoo of a baby or something. We're going to take a closer look at that soon. But yeah, not bad so far. Now this mod is also based on the Pez 18 tattoos. And obviously Pez does have the proper implementation of the tattoos. So if you notice that Fever's ones look a little bit out of place, that's because it's a bit harder to do them as a modder than to do it as a, as a developer in the studio. So Konami do have the proper scanning and stuff like that. But you can see that the FIFA 18 effort is not bad at all. And it does a very good job. It's got the tattoos on the fingers, the wrist as well, all across the arm and the other arm as well that you can't see in this photo. But yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not it's not like 100% implemented well, like a Konami scan can do. But I'll take it, you know, it does look the part. So just a quick comparison with Pez again. This time we're going to focus on the right arm. And as you can see, the baby tattoo is there on both arms. So not bad from this mod. I mean, they've done a good job. Moving on to the next player, we have Sergio Ramos. Now, this one is a really cool one. If you look at his left hand down the bottom on the right, you can see that he's got all the tattoos on his hand now. And that guy has a lot of tattoos. <laughs> so that's why he's got a long sleeve top on because it'd be too many to do. But still, man, I like that placement of the tattoos there. And it reflects the real life photo well. Even though the tattoos of Icardi and Coutinho were based off of Pez 18, this one they can't really copy off Pez 18 because Ramos doesn't have his tattoos in that game. So the modders have done a great job here. And I wish EA could do it themselves because I really like this one. The next player we have today is Neymar from Brazil. And of course, the real life photo on the left was outdated as well because he's got a lot more tattoos now on his wrist. And it's hard to find real life photos that are up to date and show the whole arm and that. So the rest of the tattoos, I, I guess you can take a look and see. I mean, the FIFA photo that I've got to work with today is a little bit blurry. I think the sun is shining on the arm too much that I can't really see all the tattoos on there. But it's no big deal. You can take a look. It's quality work by the modders. They've done both arms. And we're going to zoom in onto some of the other aspects of his tattoos. And then we'll commentate over that as well. So I found a photo of the hand tattoo. And it does look like a lion. And the modders have put that image into the game as well, which looks fantastic. And of course, if you look where his neck is on the side... You can see that he's got birds, he's got the words on his uh, neck as well. He's already had that in the game, so it's nothing new there. He also has the wings already in the game, which is underneath his hair at the back. So that's nothing new there. But the only new thing in this little image is the birds, and that's an updated tattoo that he's got. And the birds tattoo is going to be in FIFA 19, because if you look at the promotional poster for Neymar, he does have it on the side there, which is pretty cool. 
So check the links in the description to join my Patreon group or get a FIFA 18 career mode transfer guide. Both help support the channel further. And if you want to see a FIFA 19 video, click the thumbnail on your screen right now. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, click the VK icon underneath the thumbnail. And I'll see you next time.